Hey guys, Scare9 here. Welcome back to my channel today. And in this video, I want to talk about how much I hate the loot structure for Iron Banner. Now, over the last couple of days, I've spent over 5,100 Iron Banner tokens that I've been collecting over the past three years to try to get a God Roll Reese Walker shotgun because this thing looks like it's going to be pretty crazy. And I'm not using the tokens for anything else. So I said, What the hell? And I spent a ton of tokens. And as I was doing this, it really occurred to me how awful this system is. And I just want to break that down for you guys right here and then give Bungie a couple suggestions of what I think that they should do, uh, you know, as a backseat game developer. So if you think about the Iron Banner loot pool right now, I went back through all my footage and I was looking. I believe there are 16 things that can drop from the Iron Banner engrams. Those being your five armor pieces for your respective class, the occluded finality sniper, the multi mock SMG, the fool's remedy sidearm, the Ar Archon's thunder LMG, the forward path auto rifle, the time war inspired pulse rifle, the guiding sight scout, the steady hand infinite impactor hand cannons, the Reese Walker shotgun, and the shining sphere rocket. Those are the only 16 things I got. I believe those are the only 16 things that drop. So that means right off the bat, you have a one out of 16 chance to even get the Reese Walker. So not that great. Then you can take a look on Lightshot GG or Gunsmith and you can look at the perks that Reese Walker can get. And to get your ideal Reese Walker is absurdly rare. So, so for instance, I've been looking for a smooth bore, accurized rounds, quick draw, and iron reach roll with the range masterwork and really just starting to do those numbers it's absurd so you have a one out of 16 chance to get the reese walker you have a one out of three chance to get the barrel because there are six barrel options you get two of them you get a two out of seven chance to get the correct magazine you have a, a one out of six chance to get the first and second perk so so a one out of 36 chance to just get the combination that you want and a one out of four chance to get the masterwork if you do that math like a nerd you have about a one in 24,192 chance to get the role you want i'll just say that again you have over a one out of 24,000 chance to get this shotgun. That's not good. That's not great at all. In fact, that means that most people, even if everyone is going super hard and just turning in all their tokens, will not get this roll. Which to me, uh, really speaks to how bad this system is. I did manage to get a couple good ones, but I'm not here to get a three out of five shotgun. I'm here to get a freaking five out of five shotgun. So I just kind of want to introduce some thoughts and some conversations. And uh, to me, I think the better system would be something like Deep Stone Crypt or Vault of Glass, where you have a vendor, you can still use Saladin, but he sells specific guns, maybe for, you know, an upgraded price. I think you get 10 Iron Banner tokens for every win, if I'm not mistaken. So is, is a Reese Walker chance every two matches? Is that a good, you know, investment to reward ratio? I'm not really sure. You might want to increase that a little bit to uh, 30 or 40 tokens. I just think that the chances should be a little bit more targeted than one in 24,000. Because even without the one out of 16 chance of getting this, the odds of getting your perfect Reese Walker are absolutely absurd. So if you can target farm this, or you don't have to worry about the one out of 16 chance of getting a Reese Walker to drop in the first place, you can just walk up to Lord Saladin and click on a Reese Walker and get a random roll you still only have a one out of 1,512 chance to get the role that you are looking for. So I, in my opinion, that's sufficiently high. That warrants your, uh, you know, time investment. That's not quite as crazy. I mean, people who spend all their tokens, play a lot of Iron Banner, will still be able to target farm it. That'll be fine, but they won't be standing here for 24,000 packages to get it. So... That's just my opinion. I think that this entire reward system should be overdone. I think they've done amazing things with the Vault of Glass and the Deep Stone Crypt uh, raid loot system. I would love to see that apply to various aspects of the game and especially Iron Banner. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating and to share it with your friends. If you are interested in watching either of the two videos on screen, you can click their respective invitations to be taken to them. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure the giant version of my logo on screen to be subscribed to more awesome Destiny 2 videos and live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I will see you in my next video.